Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys, happy Halloween. As you guys can see, I posted on Instagram earlier that I was getting ready for this evening. We got a bunch of trick-or-treaters that I know they're gonna be at my house ringing my doorbell. So I wanted to get in the festivities and I realized I've never made a video on Halloween. So I wanted to get dressed up not only for them, but for you guys as well. And when I tell you, shout out to all y'all makeup gurus out there, aspiring makeup gurus, okay? Because this whole makeup shit is just not for me. It's so hard. I was trying to put whiskers on my face and it just did not work out. So right now I'm just a black cat. Okay, I'm whiskerless, but I think I still did a good job, okay? I tried, and it turned out pretty well, and you guys gave me a lot of encouragement on Instagram, so thank you guys so much. So anyways, y'all, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here and spill some tea, so make sure you guys have y'all's teacups ready, honey, okay? So as you guys all know, the other day, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj got into it on Instagram. They both were blasting each other. Cardi B went off. And then finally, all of the drama ended when Nicki Minaj said, you know what? I just want peace, no more negativity and Cardi basically agreed as well and said as long as Nicki Minaj is not starting anything with her again, she will say nothing else. So they did it the situation, but Jason Lee still felt some type of way. If you guys don't know, um, Nicki Minaj went on to Queen Radio and she gave Jason Lee cocksucker of the week and Jason Lee was not here for the fuck shit, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what Jason Lee wrote on Instagram. Go ahead and check this out. So Jason Lee says, I finally tuned in to Nicki Minaj's Queen Radio show after a long day of work and found out I was given Cocksucker of the Month Award. Nah, sis, give it to your brother who's in prison for touching little kids. I mean, with him in prison, I'm sure he surpassed all of my efforts by now. And then what's so crazy is that Perez Hilton came on there and he wrote facts. Honey. So when I seen that, I was like, okay, obviously Jason has a lot to get off his chest. He says he's been attacked and harassed by the barbs. His number was leaked. He went on a huge rant where he confronted Ra Ali um, in her comment section of her podcast and was basically going off on her and saying, I really trusted you. I've stayed with you at your apartment several times. You're the only one who had my phone number. So he went on this huge long rant. I'm going to go ahead and post that for you guys. You guys can go ahead and read it yourselves, honey. I do not feel like being Mother Goose through this whole damn video. Check this out. Alright, so you guys just saw what Jason Lee wrote to Ra Ali and Brooke. So now, if that's not crazy enough, he didn't leave it there. He then posted a picture of him as a child on Instagram, and he went the hell off today. It was really sad. Right now, it's causing a lot of controversy on Instagram. It's going viral. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what he wrote in this post. Go ahead and check this out. So the only Jason Lee says, since the barbs keep asking me what Nicki Minaj's brother has to do with her giving me cocksucker of the month, let me spend a little time educating you. He was molested twice around the time this picture was taken. He was molested by someone he trusted, just like Nicki Minaj's brother molesting his stepdaughter. And Nicki paying his legal fees, not speaking out against child rape, and continued giving a cocksucker award to people who speak freely their mind is why I gave it to her. Nikki being friends with people who ask other people to sell their vaginas for money is another form of making it okay to be victimized, and I have a problem with that. Since the barbs and the brands that Nikki is sponsored by want to support someone who doesn't publicly detest child rape because of their blind loyalty is something I would not support. You support a person who's been complacent in child rape and cyberbullying, a person who spent more time supporting negativity than promoting of her own album, a woman who attacked a child younger than one years old. Hey, at Kylie Jenner, I guess victimizing kids runs in the family. Stay 
the fuck off my page with the questions you really don't want answers to and apologize to this kid in this picture and millions around the world who are just trying to grow up in a world where people like Nikki's brother and the person who molested me are plotting to ruin them. But to God be the glory, it only made me stronger. You can't break what's already been broken. I want all the smoke. Who's next? I have time. Honey, Jason Lee said, you know what? Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. You lucky on that day I was acting cool, cuz. Nigga, what? what's up? How gangster are you, cuz? I don't fuck with you, cuz. You disrespecting me. I don't fuck with you, cuz. You disrespecting me. I go hard, cuz. All right, y'all just seen our favorite meme. This entire situation is crazy. And like I said, a lot of people are really upset. You know, I feel bad for Jason Lee. As you guys know, I feel bad for anybody who's been molested. And I've been one of the few people on YouTube who covered this entire Jelani Mirage story from the time it broke to the time that he was, you know, arrested and went through trial and everything else. So I definitely covered it from start to finish. You know, so I definitely get where he's coming from. He's very upset. And like I said, I feel like the reason why Nicki Minaj has been getting a lot of hate lately is because of what her fans are doing. A lot of her fans, not all of her barbs, you know what I'm saying? It's not all of them. There are some mature ones, but unfortunately, it's the immature ones who are the loudest. And they've been harassing a lot of people. DJ Academics also spoke about this on Everyday Struggle, where he was saying that his number was released, and he's been attacked by the barbs, you know what I'm saying, for questioning Nikki. Anytime Joe Budden has said something, his number was leaked, and he's also been attacked relentlessly. Cardi B shows tweets that Nicki Minaj is liking kind of low-key like subliminally cheering for her fans while they do all these things leak people number and harass people that's kind of scummy but she's implicitly co-signing the act mm. remember last year joe's number got leaked there was tweets liking him like yo this is what you get when you go at the barbs with basically barbs celebrating that they're harassing someone yeah. if you're liking those tweets those are your fans. You know your fans. Your fans, they're very simple. And that diesel campaign oh my is God. an anti-bullying campaign. Yeah, she right. wants us to keep doing this. And I just think at this point in time, because there's so many barbs attacking these people, now they're choosing to speak out and fight back. You know, and I think that Jason Lee is just tired of the nonsense and he's tired of the back and forth. Now, as far as her paying for her brother's legal fees, I don't know. I heard that it was the mother who paid for the legal fees. Maybe Jason Lee has some information I'm not privy to, but they were stating that it was the mother who put her house up, you know what I'm saying, to basically pay for Jelani's bail and things like that. Now, I've always said this when it came to Jelani. I don't think it's fair to, you know, blame Nicki for his actions or to put his actions on Nicki, but I do feel like Nicki Minaj should have spoken out. Sita says something, so that way, you know, people can see that she's standing by the victim because at the end of the day, there was a child that was victim victimizing all this and she's the person who's the victim not the brother you know so this entire situation is nuts but like i said it's causing a lot of controversy online jason is not here for the foolishness he's tired of being bullied he's tired of being picked on and now he's out here basically spilling his tea and speaking his truth so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning jason lee clapping back to Nicki minaj for her giving him cocksucker of the month how do you guys feel about what he has to say? How do you guys feel about him talking about his molestation? And do you feel like Nicki Minaj should have said more concerning her brother and the trial and everything else that he's gone through so that way she could show solidarity with that child victim? And then last but not least, how do you feel about Perez Hilton's messy ass chiming in as well? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.